This is the Chouette Nie, the little bird's nest in La Locle. Perched high in a tree on the edge of a nature reserve, a place to get away from it all. Even as a child I built tree houses in the forest. When my son was 11, he also started building tree houses. So he said, why don't we build one in the huge ash tree we have on our land? And that's how it all started. From the beginning, we decided to make something quite sophisticated, as we wanted to rent it out all through the year. So we installed heating. And when we started building, putting in the water supply and plumbing didn't add much to our costs. But they did give the guests the level of comfort they needed to enjoy their time up there. Sleeping in a treehouse is a unique experience. The night is filled with unaccustomed sounds, the hoot of an owl, the creak of the branches in the wind. The dawn chorus is deafening. If storms are forecast, bookings are deferred. This is the emergency escape procedure. You have to slip into this harness and then open the window. Bye bye. The bird's nest is booked up a year in advance. It's been such a success that Jean Paul is now building three more bed and breakfast tree houses inside the nature reserve. It took him four years to convince the authorities that the project would attract visitors to the forest and therefore promote nature rather than harming it. The site of the new tree houses is the only part of the forest that's been rezoned to allow construction to go ahead. We prepare everything in the workshop and fit all the pieces together here. You can't just bang nails in all over the place. You have to take care not to damage the tree. If you build a cabin and the tree dies because you made a mess of it, all the work's for nothing. This one's built on three different trees, so it can't be lifted up. There was too great a risk that something would get twisted. We built the others on the ground, and when they're finished, a big crane will be used to hoist them up to five meters, where they'll be fixed to the trees. Here you can see the suspension system. We use fiber support bands instead of steel so that the trees aren't damaged. They also serve as lightning conductors. Planning permissions restricted to 20 years. After this period, the birdhouses will be ripped down again and the forest restored to its original state.